Hmm. <coughs> Doesn't seem to be a right question. Well, of course, the scientists can go only to certain limit eh? because they don't or at least they haven't yet hmm, started believing and talking about the absolute or the, the essential reality. So they always try to explain everything in terms of something that could be seen either by the physical eye or by some instruments. That's why they are trying to see everything through microscope and various atomic scopes and they have to see to believe. So they have talked about atoms and their particles because at one time they stuck with atom only and then they try to penetrate into Adam and see what is here. They found out more particles. And ultimately, they started saying that the Adam itself is a galaxy. It has so many particles in it. And they started giving names, electron, proton, neutron, on and on and on and on. <laughs> and uh, in a way they seem to say that uh, they all seem to emit light or they are nothing but light waves. But uh, the Spiritual scientists who were able to perceive the essential reality not through any instruments, I mean the scientific instruments, but through their own instrument of the mind, their sharp intelligence. And they have given us that the basic essence which we call the absolute God is unperceivable even by instruments, by delicate instruments because all those things are much, much gross compared to the basic essence and even those instruments are the expressions of, those basic, of that basic essence. As such, they are in a way limited and they find it hard to perceive the unlimited. So therefore, they said, it is not even perceivable by the mind. Avang manasa gocharam, they call it. It's beyond the mind and speech.
but still we have to understand only through the mind so when the mind begins to understand the ununderstandable essence it has to limit the unlimited and the the very the subtlest expression they can go and perceive is the sound the hindu vedas call it nadam the bible calls it as the word but even the sound cannot be seen you don't see the sound but you can see the sound as light so the very sound itself has given room for the illumination for the light they call it bindu nada bindu just a spot of speck of light so it it is only the light that can be seen above the light or in the level above the light it cannot be seen but can be heard but even what we hear through this physical ear is not the beginning of the sound even the sound itself is much much subtler than what we hear what we hear is the audible sound but there are inaudible sounds even your thinking has created a sound every thought is a sound and when you think loud you speak it out vaikari madhyama paishan pasyanti these are all the different levels of the sound only when it comes out of the throat you hear it you call that sound but it has already started here and the way to understand and realize this is to use the help of some outside symbol and that is the very reason why we have all these various temples and symbols images and so on and even the services waving all the lights waving all the incense ringing the bells they are all outside symbols which would ultimately help us to feel and see and hear the same within the entire process should happen within when we learn to meditate properly when we learn to clean the mind and focus the mind inward we would get all these things we would get the sounds of the various drums and bells and bugles and things like that all the sound that you get the flute sound sound of the waves sound of the wind all the sound that you hear outside can be heard within and all the light that you see outside can be seen within so the external things are only help a help to at least imagine that this is what i should be seeing inside it's a sort of a crude image again given by the people who have seen that inside 
who have heard that inside even our chanting om amen amen they are all just crude compared to what they really heard within because it is impossible for you to say it out what you heard within you have to limit it with your language which is not true that is why people say that nobody has ever said anything about god clearly because you cannot talk about god the minute you begin to talk you are simply twisting it it's not still the original the pure but still we have to have some guidance like to go to another place now you saw all the music mountain pictures you are able to see the music mountain landscape here in this temple how could you see it without many of you going there the people who have seen it captured it in their cameras brought it and projected it so you have an idea of what it could be you still have not seen it really so the entire temple and its service and the worship and all these things are simple projections on the screen of what they caught in their experience all these images all these symbols they are not simply intellectually created they saw it within and they tried to tell you what it is so in that sense they say oh it's like a light a brilliant sunlight or it's like moon it's like a, a, a sort of a, what do you call the flash hmm. lightning hmm? it's like a lightning it's like a candle hmm? in different ways they expressed it and there again you cannot uh, go sit outside and look at the sun always you cannot have lightning always so for our sake we still limit it to our capacity and say okay candle light this is also a light but this is the representation of that light and through this light we can realize the other light and through the sound we can hear the sound within so that is why we chant we make our own sound so that we can hear the sound outside created by us and then you learn to hear the sound created by the the cosmic intelligence so the outside symbols are simply to help to realize that within so people who really get into deep practice if they are sincere and if they are really regular in their practice they should be able to see the glimpses of these lights they should be able to get 
the smell of all incense they should be able to hear all the sounds in a way until then you are not really going within you are not really growing in the spiritual field you have to have some of these experiences but again how could we get the experience is it that i should sit and meditate always no not sitting and meditating alone is going to make your mind clean and calm sometimes we think that by simply sitting no you have to really rub and scrub the mind to clean it and it is for that sake you apply the mind into activities and during the actions you will see how dirty the mind is how restless it is just in the temple sitting and closing your eyes and chanting something you are all angels everybody will look like a saint hmm but in your daily life in your activities you will be able to understand the quality of your own mind well and that is the reason why we say applied practice applied meditation it makes you understand the quality of the mind the contents of the mind and then you clean it and the action itself becomes a meditation then the mind calms down is only a clean mind can get calmed so a clean and calm mind will be able to perceive all these symbols within all these light within all the scent within all the sound within and light is probably seeing the light within is a is a good sign of our cleaning the mind and making the mind more one point very often we even the light need not be that clear light first it should be colored lights sort of all kinds of jumpy like a sort of hmm yeah smoky and colors all colors like you know the in the fireworks you get goes up and bursts and it gets all the colors you will see all that within you can have the entire fireworks within yes we don't need to be running around to see the fireworks huh? and that is the very reason why in almost every faith they 
give so much prominence to the light and sound the jewish people the call of their prayer immediately the same way the hindus will have a conch something to blow whatever they got probably in that area they wouldn't have gotten conches so they got horn they blew it's not the 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 the, the instrument that is important but is the sound they simply have to blow a sound and then have some light sound and light sonalyuma show so if if we want to ask ourselves am i growing in the spiritual practice what are the signs of your growth in the spiritual practice or in the spiritual path you will feel light you will see the light you will get light physically and mentally a true sign of growth in the spiritual practice means physically you are always light sickness is a, is a is not a good sign of your practice both mental and physical and that is what we call the integral yoga here body and mind both should be clean because after all mind is another aspect of the body they are not two different things they are one and the same in different levels mind is a subtle body this is a physical gross body like your shirt and coat you cannot simply say oh my coat is clean but the shirt is dirty or vice versa both should be clean I don't know how far I have explained. Is there anything more you need in this connection? No. Hmm? No, that's wonderful. Hmm? Thank you. Hmm? Yes. 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 Yes